happy Wednesday everyone. It is Veterans Day today and for all who have served this country I want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Because of so many who have served our country through the military we have been given so much freedom and many, many, many privileges in this country and beyond, including gathering to worship without fear of doing so. And that is certainly not the case everywhere in the world. So as we gather together for this morning manna, let us remember and give thanks for our service women and men who allow such moments to gather in public and in a group to receive God's good stuff that is um, daily given to us from God. And on this day, we remember and give thanks for people who choose to give their lives to save others. We will continue to be in Exodus 4, 24 through 26, um, because I think I connect can connect the two, um, uh, the, the reading, the scripture we have in Exodus 4 and this day of Veterans Day. So today I am reading from the CEB translation of the Bible. During their journey, as they camped overnight, the Lord met Moses and tried to kill him. But Zipporah took a sharp-edged flint stone and cut off her son's foreskin. Then she touched Moses' feet with it, and she said, You are my bridegroom because of bloodshed. So the Lord let him alone. At that time, she announced a bridegroom because of bloodshed by circumcision. So we have already had just uh, already said just to recap a little bit that the meaning of this text is a mystery and it can be interpreted in so many ways. There is no consensus on what these scripture texts mean, these verses mean. On Monday, we allow this strange and perplexing text to remind us that we are not alone. Moses needed to know that he was not alone to have the courage to go into Egypt and Zipporah and his sons were with him on that journey into Egypt to do and be all that God had called him to do and be. Yesterday, we were reminded that uh, we are God's covenant people meant for relationship with God and one another. And sometimes God's covenant people need rescuing and we are sent to deliver God's people from all kinds of oppression the same way Moses was called to do as a covenant person. Today, we are going back to Zipporah. I told you on Monday that I really love the name Zipporah. I was reminded in my readings that her name means little bird. And that made the image of a canary, that small yellow bird, come to mind. Stay with me here. Canaries were sent into coal mines to detect carbon monoxide and other poisonous gases before um, they sent humans in so that humans would not be hurt. Likewise, Zipporah, Zipporah, little bird, she was super responsive in making sure no harm came to Moses in the middle of the night. She was like Moses' canary, we can say, sent to protect him, to make sure no harm came to him. Like she was keeping vigil throughout the night to make sure that he was not hurt or harmed or killed. She had, Zipporah had, great intuition and instinct and perception, a clairvoyance even in the middle of the night. We might not know what these verses mean or why they are included in scripture, but it is clear that um, it is an example of a person, Zipporah, being willing to lay down her life for another, for not just Moses, but also her sons. I don't think Zipporah quite knew what was going on, but she knew what to do to save the lives of Moses, of Gershom, her eldest son, and also Eliezer, her second son. And she acted without fear or safeguard for her own life. Like they say, laugh with me now, guys, like they say, behind every man is an even greater woman. Of course, I am only joking. That is not the point. That is not God's good stuff we're going to glean for um, from these verses today. But truthfully, behind, beneath, and all around all of us, man and woman, are great people. We are who we are, 
And we are able to do all that God calls us to be and to do because of the people who support and sometimes sacrifice things so that we can be and do all those things that God has called us to be and do. On this Veterans Day, we remember and honor and give thanks to those who have given us access to so much in life through the wonderful gifts and the amazing freedoms of this country provided in and through this country. People who, like Zipporah, have great intuition and instinct and perception to protect and to serve and to save others without put, uh, uh, putting others' well-being above their own even at times and every day. That's what veterans sign up. That's what military personnel sign up to do. That's what I see in Zipporah. Uh, that's what I see Zipporah doing in script, this scripture text in Exodus 4, 24 through 26. And that is what every veteran does for all of us in this country. So let us thank God for the Zipporahs of this world. I will see you tomorrow on Thursday.